Welcome back, Teamer Cube. What's happening? I like a Euro. Seems like it could be extra strong in this counter spell cube. I'm going to take Euro. I need a Euro. Bird of Paradise over Euro? Badger, you were like one second too late. Ugh. Sad face, I'm crazy. I don't even know what's going on right now. <clears throat> oh, time sp Oh, we can do frilled mystic. Are we just frilled mysticing? Are we going to become. Are we going to do it again? I think we're doing it. I'm taking this frilled mystic. I mean, there was a trop in there too. We could have taken that. More like thrilled mystic. Am I right? You are right this time. Don't let anybody keep you down. Oh, I like a Karn. I think we're taking Karn here. Karn is just so solid. I also do like Tamiyo a lot. Like, if that Tamiyo comes back, I'll be more than happy to take a Tamiyo. One of the things that I've noticed about this cube is that I feel like I'm drafting the same things over and over. I'm like, I just drafted these cards. I was just in this archetype. I think Garrick is probably stronger than Temple. I, I, I don't take the lands very highly because I feel like there's twice, there's like so many in here. That like every every like thirty three percent of the lands are fixing for our deck, you know. Whereas Garrick lets us go turn five Karn, so that's kind of cool. Oh, I like a Paradise Druid a lot. Paradise Druid says turn three Karn, turn four, or turn three Garrick, turn four Karn. Yeah, we're taking the Druid. It also fixes two colors of mana, which is nice. So does Nature's Lore. Botanical Sanctum is probably the one. Yeah, I'm going to take. With Pro, our 41 can be a sleek 40. Wait. Is that true? But if Pro was my 41st card, then I might as well just not play the Probe, right? I think I like Plow Under here. Oh, let's plow, buddy. We're plowing.
Okay. So this is good because we can fix our mana with the red. Oh, wait. They're both red green lands. Well, darn it. I guess we'll just take Deranged Hermit. Or Dead Eye Navigator. I'll take Dead Eye Navigator. Being able to blink Frilled Mystic is pretty sweet. Of course, if you blink Euro, it just dies. What does this thing do? 3 1 for 5. It cascades. Spells looking around here and cascade. That's, you know what? That's worth trying. I'll play. I'll try this thing, this weird snake out. Well, it's not a snake, it's a naga. It's a snake, dummy. Nagas are just snakes with arm, let's be real. Don't get it twisted. Uh, Cause on demand that's actually a free card, right? Temple of Mystery, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Not gonna, not gonna work here anymore. <laughs> we fixed the glitch. Okay, so I'm probably always gonna splash Maelstrom Wander when given the chance. Okay, what do we got here? I like Coiling Oracle. Elvish Archdruid could be a thing. This is an elf. Hex Drinker can just win games if they don't have the answer for it. I do like Tomb. I just worry when we have cards like this guy. Eh, we can still take Tomb. I think Tomb is still probably fine. Oh, I like a I like a Lotus Cobra. The old Codus Lobra. Yeah, we're gonna take that guy. Ulamog, huh? Well, see you later. I think it's just Sower here. I do not think we're an Ulamog deck. Maybe we are. Maybe we're just casting Ulamog. Yeah, I don't think we're Thassing here. We can't blink Euro. We can't blink Frilled Mystic. We can't blink any. Like, we just don't have. Thassa doesn't work with anything. I'd rather have Sower than Thassa, and I'd rather have Ulamog than Thassa. Yeah, I'll just take the Ulamog. I, I don't. I don't know that we're going to be able to ca unable to cast this and like this can only cast creature spell. Shifting Ceratops is pretty bananas. Gilded Drake is also pretty ridiculous. Yeah, we're definitely taking all of these. Ketria Triumph would be nice if it came back, but it literally fixes any deck that you're playing. Brazy B. Oh man, I love a brazen bar. That guy seems great here. It's just a nice it's a nice piece of interaction that like isn't super common in this cube, it seems like. We can go omniscience into show and tell and then start just casting a log car, and that seems pretty cool. We're not gonna do that, but it's an option. 
I'm going to take this because I actually don't know if there's any other ways to get this into play. <sighs> Genesis Hydra. Interesting. I think the upside on Genesis Hydra is higher than the one on Pelucranos, so... Elvish Archdruid came back? I kind of like that. Yeah, that could be a good amount of mana. A good amount of mana. Uh, sometimes I count the Mammoth as a land, but then also, like, if I want 18 lands, it's really nice to have you able to have 18 lands, but also have one of them not be a land. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? This deck looks sweet so far. Dead Eye Navigator is a card that, like, is really strong, but I'm never excited to play it because it's just 6 mana plus 2 mana, so it's, like, it's a very expensive card to get going. Scavenging Goose seems fine here. Sower came back. I like that a lot. Man, we took the Ulamog over the Sower and the Sower just comes back anyway. Castle Garenberg is actually fine. It lets us cast both Maelstrom Wander and Ulamog a turn earlier. <clears throat> Man, we got Ancient Tomb and Garenberg. This is a lot of... A lot of lands that produce extra mana. This deck also has fewer counter spells, which is nice because we do want to tap out every turn. <sighs> so the Frilled Mystic's looking surprisingly more awkward, even though it was one of our first picks.
Yeah, because we have this and this, both of these cascades. So it's like, oh, we cascade Thank into you. world. Alan Beck with the 60 month streak. Oh my God, dude. 68 months total. That's like six years. Good Lord. That's ridiculous. Dude, Alan, I appreciate you, buddy. Is it over six years? 12 times? Is it? I don't think so. I don't think so. 72 is six years, right? Not that it matters. I'm just... <laughs> Unless your years are 10 months, and then in which case... I think we're taking Mox Diamond. I love a Mox Diamond when I have the mana for it. Hmm. Snappy Boy seems actually terrible for our deck, unfortunately. Uh, Force of Vigor could be fine. Actually, I do kind of like Force of Vigor. This is, there's a ton of artifacts and enchantments in this format. Could also play Karuga. Alan, how old are you going to be, man? You're going to be, like, ancient. Maybe I'll be 400 years old this year. We actually don't have any ways to deal with artifacts or enchantments just yet. I'll take Force of Vigor. I bet Karuga comes back. Ooh. Ulamog and Corsair and Breeding Pool. We also only have 18 cards. 18 playables right now. So I think we're just taking Corsair here. Also Phantasmal Image. To Ulamog for my birthday. Is that... Well... Hmm. Alan, happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. I kind of like Kior here. Now we have Shifting Ceratops. Eh, it's still nothing. There's still not enough creatures to, to really take advantage of this, unfortunately. She does untap. I think Dryad's probably a little better. I don't even I don't even love Carney too, I'll be honest with you. I think I think this guy fixing our mana and letting us play extra lands is probably better. Ooh. Oh, Riftwing Cloudscape for sure. Um, This guy's good. Incubation Druid's good. I think Riftwing Cloudscape is a little bit better for what we want. Why do you hate our dinosaur boy? He's just unexciting. No offense to him. He's he's a good he's a good boy. Geyer Sage. I haven't played Magic in a hot minute, but who is the Naga that gives CMC 6 plus Cascade and where do I get one? Uh, this is Emoti, Celebrant of Bounty. I believe it's in Commander Legends. It was just released re recently. And it's an uncommon, so probably not super hard to come by. I like Geyer Sage because it works well with Elvish Arch Druid, but Scrib Ranger won us some games. That doesn't mean I'm not taking the Geyer Sage, it just means that Scrib Ranger won us some games. This card also can't add any mana unless it evolves. So, worth noting. Hmm, Echo of Eons. I think it's actually Worm Coil here. We don't have a ton of top end, and this is our only six drop right now, so. Oh, we do have to find a way to splash this. We have Lotus Cobra, Paradise Druid, Dryad. And that's it right now. And Mox Diamond.
And now we have Rune Claw Mystic as well. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. You can probably ooze in the sideboard. Eternal Witness is great. Um, I don't know if this is even that good. The problem is we only have four spells that cost six or more. I mean, I feel like Eternal Witness has to be better, right? No. I'm going to go with Tati over here. I want to be more land-centric. Oh, the Karuga came back. I mean, we knew he would. So it looks like we need one cut here. I mean, it could just be Frilled Mystic. It's kind of awkward with our... Um, with our Cascades. We're also not a deck where we, we want to, like, hold up mana. No, I think Jarius Sage is fine. Like, we're every every card we play is gonna is gonna evolve it. I'll take Field. Kiora. I mean, I still think Kiora is one of the better cards. Oh, Nightpack Ambush is pretty sweet. Scrib Ranger came back. Okay, Wilderness Wreck. All right. Is this guy better than any of our other four drops? Not really. Is it better than any of our three drops? Not really. So one cut. I think we can actually cut Maelstrom Wander. We just don't have any... Actually, we just picked up Rattleclaw. Like, the ways to cast Maelstrom Wander are like... We have five. Our mana's not great. Also, so that makes sense. That's another... Knock against Frilled Mystic. Riftwing goes here. Brazy goes there. I'm kind of tempted to just cut this. Like, it's only... I don't know. That seems still seems fine. I, I wish it was five. I wish it was five or more. Um, I've been enjoying the cubes so far. I think there are I think there's far too many like heavy blue counterspell based like decks. We we could play Genesis Hydra as an X way to cascade, yes. Uh technically, yes. I do like these three things. <laughs> Not saying it's good. I mean, might even cut, maybe just cut Ulamog. That doesn't seem good. It's Ulamog. Um, it might be Gyre Sage, actually. Yeah, we can cut Gyre Sage, sure. I might just play one mountain. Is that... Is that reasonable? Do we have any way to get it? I don't think so. What if someone plays Path to Exile against us? <laughs> Just kidding. 8, 9, 10, 11. 4, 5, 6. 6, 7, 8. 
six, seven, eight, nine. We get one more green. All right. So, so this is actually 17 lands plus Mox plus Kazandu Mammoth, which is pretty good. All right. Because we want to be able to hit lands with Euro. We want to be able to put double lands into play with Dryad. We want to land for Mox Diamond. So I think 18 lands is probably where we want to be here. Okay, seems fine. Is that better? That's a question. So is, is Riftwing Cloudscape coming down one turn earlier better than playing Night Pack Ambusher one turn earlier? I don't know, but I erred on the side of yes. Okay, well, that's interesting. Two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunately, we can't play Ambusher with that. So one, two, three, four, five six mana one two three four five one two three four five six we both are both gonna have six They didn't have a land. Okay. So we can play Karn next turn? Oof. So if we go 1-2 Lotus Cobra... Two Cobra. We have 1-2... Still have 4. I guess we'll have 5. Oh, I played the wrong land because I'm dumb. I literally played it the only way I can't actually cast Nightpack Ambusher. I needed the Ancient Tomb. Oh, boy, that was bad. God, for some reason, I thought I had six either way. The Ancient Tomb. Yeah, we were supposed to do this instead of Island. We would have Ancient Tomb. This is actually fine, though. Uh, I, I want to give them Voltaic Key. The reason being is that they don't have a land, so I don't want to give them a land because then they have two mana up. And we really just want to play... Um, we really just want to play Karn without having them interact. Plus, this is just going to be a banana's turn. Bounce the hanger back. 
play this guy green all right thank you for the company but it's time for me to head off good luck frank badger have a good afternoon or night enjoy the gym whenever you make it there buddy I hope things are more up than down, and I'm sure I'll see you soon. I really appreciate you, my dude. Heading there now. You know what? I had a feeling. Good luck. I'm sure I'll see it on Facebook. Okay, so what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we're just gonna win the game. Okay, well, I was gonna Euro and then play this. I mean, Karn on seven's a pretty, a pretty big deal. Let's play Force of Vigor. That card's cool. take Wulamog out. I think this is worth keeping. We're on the draw as well, so if we hit any land, it's a turn two Dryad, turn one Riffling Cloudscape. Oh man, that's nice. Land, Mox, Pitch It, Suspend Ya Boy. Land, Mox, this guy. Candelabra of Tonos. Oh man, that is a card. Uh, nope. Also, we can activate Ancient Tomb and not take damage with it thanks to Dryad. That's pretty cool. Yep, that's a hell of a... <laughs> that's a hell of a... Yeah, Shifting Ceratops is insanely good. It's actually almost too good, and I think it shouldn't be in here. Um, <laughs> as you can see... That Ceratops is mad shifty, bro. More like Sarah Scoops. More like Scoopatops. Am I right? I could be right. Hold on one second. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. We can go turn one Kazandu. Kazandu. Into turn two Dryad Island. 
Okay, now we're just playing that instead because this is a creature. One, two, three, four. I'm going to keep Karn. I don't know if that's greedy, but Karn's real good. Look at this little shitbird. It's not that greedy, but we're not, we're like, we do need a land or two, right? So keeping Karn on top prevents that, but I mean, I'll 100% block up Omat Courier here. If you want a two for one yourself, that is more than fine. I mean, I'm sure they're going to incinerate, but that's, that's life. Yeah, that's fine. They also should have abraded pre-damage so that, it, oh, this guy gets a, yeah, they would have gotten a counter. <laughs> I mean, if we hit a land, we just get to play Warm Coil Engine. Seems very good. like that a lot but i think we're actually just gonna play this guy face down and keep up brazy b for the the smugglers chopper they have one card in hand yeah i'm pretty sure we're just fine here even a braiding worm coil is not that great i hope they don't draw this turn oh god that's frustrating remember that time i was talking about uh how they had one card in hand? Yikes. Now they have five. Uh, this is face down from the, B the Bomat Courier. Oh, God. Finale targeting a braid, and wow, that's pretty good. Whew. How is that real? Holy shit. Why play it face down? Because I get more mana that way, and I have no reason not to. I don't understand. Like, when you flip it, you get three mana. So you pay two to morph it, and you get three. So you're you're netting one mana, plus you get to tap it for mana. So you're getting two. And I have nothing else to do with my mana this turn, so. Six cards in hand still. That's pretty good. Don't kill my morph. Okay, they didn't. So, that should give us all the colors we need. So we got three, four, five, six. We could play Karn here. Which I think is probably correct. Play Karn, take two, go to ten, exile the smuggler's copter. Or we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we just play Worm Coil here. The thing is, I want to start gaining life. Like, if we play Karn, we go to 10. I'm pretty sure if they play their 1-1 their one, one sprite for 2, um, they can just crew the copter and kill Karn, which doesn't seem great. 
Oh, I guess we would have killed the copter with Karn. But my point is, they have four mana, and their deck definitely is capable of playing two non-creature spells to make this a 3-3, so... I mean, it also seems capable of just dealing a seven here, to be quite honest. Like Lightning Bolt Char, some nonsense. Uh, I'm not going to declare any blockers because I don't have any. And I'm just going to hope you don't have an answer for Worm Coil. I bet you do. Skewer, okay. Well, you're a four. And Snapcaster, four. Okay, we go to one. Am I missing something? Oh, you can't flash it back for that? Oh my god, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'm like, that doesn't, you can't, that doesn't work. Because Snapcaster specifically says the, the flashback cost is the mana cost. <laughs> I mean, we could take two from Ancient Tomb here, play our land. Hmm. And then draw a card from Tatiova. So we'd go to nine. But Tatiova blocks Snapcaster. We would take five in the air, which I don't love. Could also just play Karn and get rid of the Smuggler's Copter, but then we go to eight. And we have no blockers. Right, Tatiova gains life, that's why I said we go to nine instead of eight. Um, the problem is they have five damage in the air, so if we're going to nine, if they have four extra damage or like... Like a three damage burn spell... And a spray dragon kills us. Like, I almost think it's safer to just keep a brazen borrower here to block, like, the copter. They could have Snapcaster pull some braid on your worm coil attack? I have worm coil in play and their Snapcaster in play, and their braid's not even in here. What are you saying right now? What's What are you talking about, Tsunami? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to play my land and pass here. Yep, that's pretty good. And that is why we didn't play Tatiova. I mean, if they have a... If they have an answer for this, we're dead, so... And they don't. Five, six, seven... If they had an answer for this, they would have used it. So I'm actually just going to use this chance to get rid of the copter here. <sighs> wow, this game is intense. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We go to seven. Yeah, we're just going to play Karn now. Again, if they had a counter spell, they would have countered our Brazen Borrower. Unless it's like an... <sighs> amazing. Fucking amazing. It's really frustrating. Let's 
that's really frustrating. Yeah, I guess they did draw six extra cards. I guess there is that. Oh, uh, keep this. Seven drop, eight drop seemed good. Are they, are you there, little Billy? All right. Actually, with only two lands, I'm actually not sure if this is correct. Like, if they, we know they have a braid, I'm just going to wait. I don't think it's worth playing Mox Diamond here. It might even actually might even be worth boarding Mox Diamond out when they know we have when they when we know they have main deck. Like, okay. I mean, if we draw another land, it's nice because then we can play Night Pack Ambusher at instant speed. Yep, this little shitter. Okay. So we'll play Castle Garen Briz. I'm just going to play this guy now because we know they have four spike. And I don't really have... There's no creatures that we're going to ambush with it. So I might as well just get it down. We also have nothing to play next turn, which seems good for our... Yeah, I mean, we knew this was coming. <laughs> it's literally why we chose not to... I mean, actually, I think this guy comes down next turn. No, we got a turn, so we are going to get a free wolf out of this. No, we're not. I just, I just lied. We are going to eat their graveyard, though. I guess we might have been able to wait instead of playing it then, because, like, we get a free wolf, and then we also have the card in hand. And we know we're not going to get one this turn, so. And I'm sure they're going to counter this, so. They can't mana leak. They can remand it, which gives us another wolf. They can't traditional counterspell it. Uh, yeah, just bounce your 2 2. That's actually a 1 1. In... Oh, that guy's nice. Maybe. Mm-hmm. 
Sure. We have no artifacts, so that's fine. <coughs> okay, Force Spike is gone. Oh, this guy. Well, let's see if we're trading here. Dak Faden or Smuggler's Copter? What is the what is the choice? I don't think we're gonna play Lotus Cobra here. Yep. Mm -hmm. because we get a free 3-3 anyway right and that's just better than Lotus Cobra plus like it keeps a card in our hand basically and puts the same amount of pressure on the board plus okay let's say we have Lotus Cobra if we hit one land it gives us five mana not six so it's not really uh ramping us into anything. Oh, what up, Juposhi? F Flurk. That's, uh, that's correct. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Let's eat your copter. There's also delve things in this format, so I mean I'm not gonna take down two mana because I want to keep up counter spells if we have. So five cards in hand. You didn't play anything. Attack your face. I don't know what's going to happen here, but they could have evacuation, which would be real good. We have been missing quite a few land drops. This is round two, right? I don't think Aether Eyes is in this queue. I haven't seen it. Sublime Epiphany. Sure. That's frustrating. I mean, I'm pretty sure Shifting Ceratops is going to end up winning us the game if we hit one land here. <sighs> Pro Blue. Interesting. I don't know what's happening right now. Attacking for two. Impulsing in response. Sure. Land off the top so I can shifting Cytera tops. All right. Cool. No, not my, oh, not my Gilded Drake. So you have 
46 mana. Sounds good. Well, it's only turn... What turn is it? Eight? It's only turn eight. We've only missed four land drops. That's totally normal. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Sweet deck. Magic games are super easy to win when your opponent doesn't draw any fucking lands, I imagine. This actually seems fine. The Minnesota Review. Two drop? We are a five drop. So we don't have a way to cast Maelstrom Wanderer just yet. Ancestral Vision Preordain. Nice. I do... I, I'm glad Ancestral Vision is in the trash can. <laughs> that was a good draw. So this is what happens when you put your five drop on the bottom. So I think we definitely go Euro first because it gets another land into play, whereas Courser does not. And you always want to play Courser when you still have a land drop to make. Tormenting Voice. So you're just basically throwing a bunch of cards out. gamble I mean I have a very good feeling you did not search for Talran so So next time we can play Sower or Courser. If we don't die, we could die. Oh, give me a red mana. Any red mana. Oh, boy. Coda Slober one time. That's not what we're looking for. Um, so one, two, Courser. Two, three, four. Uh, land off the top is better. Um, definitely stealing this, like. Definitely don't want to draw Castle Garenbrig. We have Maelstrom Wander in hand, so we're not going to be able to play that. Not looking good for Euro. Oh, here we go. Frantic search. I have a feeling that might have been one of the ones you searched for, because that seems real good for you. Now I feel like you're in real bad shape. That seemed very necessary. Because you would have actually played three, untapped, got six. Yeah, now you just have like preordain and nothing. No gamble, no future, I guess. I haven't, do I have, I, don't, I have the bad Ulmog, dang it. This does not do anything. Oh, Mox Diamond, though. Oh, I think they're dead. I have a feeling that they might be dead. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we bounce, the problem is if we bounce the Mana Flare.
Oh, there's an Ulamog right on top. We can't cascade into it, though, unfortunately. Oh, but we do get a Euro in the graveyard, too. How much mana do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh my god, they're just dead. They're actually stone dead. And we get to put another land into play. Oh, yeah. I mean, we could play Maelstrom Wander here, or we can just kill them. Both of these are just killing them, right? Okay, Garrick, cast, cascade again, cast you, um, untap, can't cast you, right? Sure. So you're going to have to use all of your mana. Uh, we cannot cast Ulamog with untap two. Ulamog costs ten. We have six. I mean, it doesn't matter. They're packed of negationing, and this is our board. So they get, like, one land. This is really ambitious. Scavenging ooze. I did say I can't. I did. I did, I actually was gonna laugh. I was like, man, that's Alan again with his, with his camp math. It's too bad we don't have any big Eldrazi. More like dumb bishes. <laughs> God damn. He has no chill. I kind of like force of vigor as well. Sower seems bad. Uh. I'm just going to play 41. They're trying to mill us anyway. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. I'll keep it on the draw. Oh, we have one land. I thought we had two lands. Ooh, one land is so much worse. If we can hit land, land, I'm actually I'm okay with it. Okay, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Living on a prayer, take my hand, chickens, I swear. I would rather be living on a solid surface. Living on a prayer. You counter this guy? Uh, for a spike. So we're gonna draw Paradise Druid. Come on, land under Paradise Druid. That's that's a disappointing. That was, a, that was an unexciting turn, unfortunately. Now they're going to kill us. No, we are dead. Gambling again.
<laughs> this seems so dangerous, dude. I'm actually just going to bounce this. I don't need the mana this turn. Oh, let's play that. Um, but they might, right? So, like, if they have to replay that... Let's make a beast. So if we plus Garrick to untap two, they could literally just attack with Baral to prevent us from ultimating. So ultimating is not our goal. Literal put time spar by itself, and that's what they took. Sure. Goodbye, hand. Yeah, this is a very good series of cards that you played. I'd hide again, huh? Uh, I did not get my hair trimmed up, no. It would definitely be significantly less puffy than this if I got it trimmed. Force of Vigor is rough because, like, we can't actually kill this without them just responding. I mean, is it possible they just whiff and don't hit their fucking brain freeze? Maybe. Probably not. It seems unlikely. This is exhausting. God, you think you can get away from a storm in the in the teamer cube, but no, you can't. Do I have any cards that reshuffle? No. Why are they pongifying their own guy? What does that do? Am I missing something? Let's bring this guy in instead of this.
What up, moochies and boochies? <laughs> oh, man. Michael B., your cool stuff order is on the kitchen table. One land, huh? Seems bad. Mm, yeah, I don't love this, but yeah, we can keep this and, and put the. Well, if we can get draw one island, this hand's actually pretty banging. Oh, uh, I had one shieldred in the order, and I did I did take it. One cube shieldred. Oh, 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 I thought they went to six, but it turns out they're just gone, which is why they took four minutes to sideboard. Well, okay, I muted the mic too, so now we're back. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I guess we'll just play this and next turn night pack. Hmm. No, I don't think we're doing that yet. Food has tested positive for COVID. Can you elaborate on that? Because that seems like a big deal. Oh, ancient tomb dot deck over here. Mm 
Hmm. We have one, two, three. We have five mana. We can play this guy face down. Flip it up. I'm just going to suspend here and then pass so that we can get a wolf. Yep, sure. Time spiral. Not frantic search. Probably time spiral mountain. Yeah, that seems fine. They took the three. Okay. Well, time sprawl being in the graveyard is nice. Okay, that's nice. So now we know two of the... Do they not have a land? I mean, they discarded two lands and missed one here and discarded this one. So it's seven lands. Hmm. Found one. So now they get four mana so they can play Talrand after this if they want. More lands. All right. I'm just going to brain freeze this here for like one, two, for four. <laughs> Doesn't seem that good. Okay, I mean the odds of you not, the odds of you discarding the card that you search for is pretty low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. Good grief. The problem with your joke is that it was, in fact, a brand new crappy sports car. My god. I mean, they have to win here. Time Spiral's in the graveyard. We have 30 cards, so they have to have a storm count of 10. Not impossible, but they don't have any sort of doubling right now. I guess they could have high tide. They're dead on board. Metamorphos. So they're probably going to make two drakes here. Brain freezing us for three? Sure. Hmm. 
Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, they're just dead if we bounce one of these tokens, right? So... Looks like another 2-1. Oh, no blocks. They're just like, you know what? Writing's on the wall. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out twitch.tv slash Frank Thank you. It's a great way to support the channel. If you want to subscribe over there, you get a free subscription if you link your Twitch and Amazon Prime accounts. And uh, it just helps a ton. Like Spaghetti Toucher himself, who just resubbed. Thank you so much, buddy. Really, really appreciate it. Somebody touch my spaghetti! And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.